Hello, I'm going to show you how to use a program called NetSupport, which is used to restrict how the student uses their computer during class. So one of the most basic things you would like to know is how to temporarily disable the computers in the classroom. If you're doing an activity that doesn't involve the computer, and you don't want the students messing around on their computers, you can simply select all and hit blank. And the student's monitor turns black until you select blank all. And then they get access to their computer. And the other thing that you would like to do is if you are trying to show, let's say, a PowerPoint to the entire class, then you want to click on the Show menu and click on Show Your Desktop to All Students. And when you do that, in their monitor, and they'll see your desktop and will not have access to anything else. Um, but this is helpful, like I said, if you're using PowerPoint, then all of the students, even in the back of the room, can easily see everything that you're doing. Keep in mind that, uh, that your display will be on until you turn it off. So to turn off the display, to no longer be projecting your screen, what you want to do is go to the little down arrow near the time, focus on the play button, and what you want to do is right click and hit end show. Make sure you do this because you may end up doing something on your screen while not projecting it in class but you may go into your grade book or attendance or something private on your screen and you don't want to be displaying it to the entire class. So another helpful thing within showing your screen, if it's supposed to demo some kind of tech thing like showing, him, showing students how to use Maple or Converge, or any program like that, you want them to be able to follow along, so you don't really want control over their computers. However, you do want them to be able to see what you're doing. So, you want to click on the display mode to show whether it's in windowed or full screen mode. Uh, If you want windowed, this is what you actually would like to show if you are demoing something. So that way, on their screen, they see your screen, but they also have control of their computers, so they can open up Maple and follow along as you're doing the steps and clearly see everything you're doing. Another helpful thing that you would like to do during an exam is turn off the internet. So if you would like to restrict access of everything for all students, then click on the globe and hit restrict all. And any student that is currently on will now have no access to the internet with Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Chrome, they'll all show a lock when they go to access it. And to unlock it, go back to Web Access and unrestrict all. So, 
It works best if you select everything and then hit restrict and unrestrict. You can also do this for an individual student. So, and the other thing is you can restrict all websites except for ones that you approve. Like, let's say you want to allow only access to Nesmos. Then I click on the globe, click on the plus sign, and add in Desmos.com and hit OK. And right now we're not blocking anything, so we're going to go and select all the students again. And now we have an option, approve only is on there. We want to do that. That allows for access only to the sites that you have listed. And currently that's Desmos. So if they open up the browser, again, they'll see the lock. But they'll also have a list of the approved websites that you're allowing them to go to. The one thing to note is that they don't have access to websites where you have to log on. Because you can only really enter an individual URL as opposed to an, an entire domain. So allowing access only to Canvas will most likely not work. But at least sites like this, that does work for. So, and the other thing that I would like to show is during class, well, maybe you are not restricting computer access because the students are using the computers for something, but maybe a student is not necessarily using the computer for what you would like. So, maybe a student is not really doing what they should be doing if you click on this windowed area, you end up seeing little thumbnails of what your students are doing. And when you hover over, it'll automatically expand. Well, this student is not really doing what they're supposed to be doing. So what you can do is you can double click, double click on their computer, and you actually have access, you can control what they do. If you pan down, if you arrow down toward the bottom, you can basically pan around their screen or use the navigation tool. So, I can just write a note. And usually that'll hit the point. But like I said, if you simply if you see them doing homework and you don't want them to, you can go in and just simply close the browser. But you have full control over their computer. They do as well, but nonetheless, usually this is good enough and they get the point. Uh, to cease having control over their computer, you can just close that window. Just consider that there are a couple of options. Like, let's say there's actually something academically dishonest that the student is doing during a test that you, you see. You can actually capture a screenshot. So, at the end of the day, if you know that you are in the last class in, 
and you would like to shut all of your computers down, you can simply do that by selecting the individual computers. You can hold control and select the ones that are on. So just keep in mind, you don't actually want to select all of the computers. You only want to select the computers that are actually on. You, you select them and hit manage and you can power them off. And it'll automatically close whatever programs and force a shutdown. Just keep in mind, if you do this to a computer that is already off, net support will get confused and generate an error. So you really do not want to select all and do this. Thank you, and I hope that this has helped you make better use of this program.